Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I worked out today that this episode is episode 29 of this tour so far, which means we're closer to Christmas now than we are to the beginning of this year when I started planning this tour. That's mad. So today I head off to see George K. I actually leave Copenhagen, I leave this beautiful beach that I realise I haven't filmed much of. Those of you that are on my Instagram have seen the videos that I filmed over there, but today, I head off to see George K again and then start making my visit to see some of the people that I've met on the tour and to also meet some new people to write some more music. But yeah guys, I set off today on a three week trip back to the UK, I've gotta go back home. I just wanna give everybody a huge thank you that responded to last week's video, uh, both on Instagram and on YouTube. I've had quite a lot of conversations with people that have seen last week's video, which was giving you guys a glimpse at all the songs and where we're currently at with the album. I'm pretty, pretty much there I think with all the songs. Songs. So if you haven't seen that video, definitely go check that out. One thing I was saying in that video is that there's one song with Beth, with their Beth, with Beth. <laughs> there is one song with Beth Osborne that didn't quite fit the vibe and, and everything else that was going on in the album. So 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 here's Beth in Copenhagen. <laughs> <laughs> so yesterday, like all of yesterday and the day before, did we start yesterday? Or the day before. The day evening before. The day before. Yeah. Evening the day before, we started working on a new tune to replace the one. That's on the uh, that's currently on the album. However, what are we gonna do with the old one? We're just gonna park it. Just gonna park wow. it. All right, fair. So we started a new one, and then yesterday we started recording it. Welcome back. <laughs> so behind my head is some <laughs> uh, somebody that you guys have met before. Better reveal yourself. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beth Robinson is back, and last no. time we didn't no. vlog much. Not Robinson. What do you want to be known as? Osborne. Osborne. Beth Osborne is back. Yeah, um, right her dad, Ozzy. <laughs> <laughs> so as of last week's vlog, when I was mentioning about Beth's song not fitting with the other ones, we started writing this new song. And how do you feel about this new song? I love it. Okay. So we're going to share you with you the process. We're going to record it. But Beth, welcome back. Thanks. Back on the album. Thanks for having me. Okay, you, um, the chorus bit, you're going to have to sing with me because I don't sing it the same as you. So I'm going to need to practice that bit. Okay, cool. Ready? Verse? Yes. Sit down with me. Tell me your secrets, the places you've been and I'm proud. Oh, yeah. the, what's that last line? Yeah, maybe yeah. she's the worst song again. But the song will still play. Yeah, just, um, or our song will still play. Also, I reckon we just removed I at the beginning of that. I don't know where that came from, that's not even written on here. I think that needs to come forward as well. Pause and repeat. And then yeah, then it kept off for a bit. And then maybe rewind about hearts built for breaking sometimes. So Beth, how do you feel about the new song now? Really good. I think it suits my voice better. Agreed. It suits the album better. Agreed. I just like it more. I think the next step is to work out some more production on that. Um, we were kind of saying that it sounds good just as like an acoustic thing, but I think it will pull it more towards the album, even more so, to do some production on it. And maybe I've got some ideas on how to get like a little kids choir. So if you know any kids that can sing, <laughs> that's the weirdest request I've ever put out on my YouTube channel. But Give us a shout. Give us a shout. Going back to the very start of the tour, I was putting feelers out to you guys to be like, how can we make money to basically fuel this bus across this tour? And in the next three weeks when I'm heading back, it's gonna cost quite a lot. I mean, what I've done over three months, I'm cramming into three weeks. So it's gonna be an expensive few weeks. And right at the beginning of the tour, right at the beginning of tour, <laughs> Beth offered to buy a tank of fuel. And for me, it was like the starting point of realizing that Beyond the lens, there were people there that were willing to help, and yes. you very kindly were one of those first people. Yeah. And I thank you a lot for it. Since then, like, how are you looking at this whole tour from when you made that offer way back mm -hmm. to where it is now? A lot's happened, a lot's changed. Like, yeah. were you expecting me to get this far? Uh, Be honest. No. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I didn't, I didn't really know of you, mm -hmm. right? So I didn't. I think I joined this tour in a slightly different way to a lot of people. So this I, is the thing I love about Beth. She has no idea about I YouTube. Literally have she knows no idea. nothing. I don't understand this. You're here because you responded to a tweet. 
yeah, that so, Dave put out. Yeah, so I met Dave a year ago. Dave Erasmus. And then he did a tweet that was like, my mate's doing some music stuff. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, I was like, oh, well, I don't really sing anymore, but I'll just send you a message. So I did on Instagram, which is something I would never do. Yeah. It was just random. I'd just been made redundant. So mm-hmm. I was like, what am I going to do with my life? Sent you a message. Voila, yeah. now sat in Copenhagen. Yeah. So I didn't I didn't think you'd get this far, but only because I didn't know. I didn't really even understand what the plan was. Yeah. I just knew that you were you wanted to write an album. So what's changed now between how you've seen the project unfold from way back then? I mean, we first met in week two, week three, something like that. Yeah, I was like the third or fourth person. Yeah, it feels so long ago. Yeah. How are you seeing the whole project differently now to what you did then when we first met? Like, I am going to be honest. Oh no, go on. (laughs) Well, I didn't know that it was like a serious thing. Oh, you thought this was just like weekend kind of like hobby on the side. Right, think about it that I was pitched that like you were this guy that had a bus (laughs) that had made this bus into a studio. Cheers, Dave. Was living on this bus. (laughs) Mm -hmm. I didn't know anything else about you. I didn't know that you did videos. I didn't know that you were like an actual musician. Mm Mm-hmm. Anyone can say they're a songwriter, right? If you just write a little thing Mm -hmm. at home, Mm -hmm. then you're technically like you're a songwriter and you have every right to call yourself that. But I didn't realise that you like make a living from doing that. Mm -hmm. So being on here and seeing it and like I've obviously been a good mate and like watched your videos since I've known you. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot more legit than maybe. (laughs) Than maybe you thought, than you realised you were walking into. And I guess what people see behind the scenes as well is very different to what kind of comes out through the camera. Yeah, definitely. I think being on the bus and seeing like how like professional it is, it's like proper. You're not just like some guy who's like, oh, I'm just going to get a bus and go and write some music. <laughs> like, it's a bit it's, like, it's a business. It's like a proper business. It's a circus. Welcome to the Made on the Road Circus, guys. We've been on the road as a circus for four months. About to buy an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> Well, your help has been greatly appreciated and especially at times like now. So the accounts this week, we're on minus 25, which is a lot better than last week, 25 pounds. But all the fuel comes out for the last month tomorrow, which is 235 pounds. So we're going to be like over 250 pounds in debt again. So t-shirts, offers of fuel, things like that really help to get back. Like I need to get back to the UK guys. And you know, together, this is, this is the final slog. This is like the final push after this three weeks. Selling t-shirts is not going to be for fuel because I'm going to be home. This is the final, final little push. If you want to get your friend a new t-shirt for, for their birthday, a baby a t-shirt christening. for a christening. Yeah, it's exactly. Great for a christening. What I would love is to see a picture of a baby being christened in a Made on the Road t-shirt. That I just would. Want that. My dad's a vicar. Give me a baby, and we'll see that. <laughs> <out. laughs> wow. <laughs> By the way, I do have no mediums left in the t-shirt, so you're going to have to style out a large or extra small or a small or an extra large. Not you, but... Rude. <laughs> <laughs> so Beth, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Are you going to stick around for the rest of the video or are you going to hide away again? I'll stick around rather than hide in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually back, if all goes to plan, in the UK on the 22nd of July. So from then on, I'm gonna be spending the next five weeks of finishing off the album, like tidying things up, adding final bits. We're hopefully gonna have a brass section that are gonna come down and record down on Brighton Beach to add something. Did you know about that? Nope. That's gonna be fun. I'm hoping to maybe get some strings on the album. So if there's anybody out there that maybe can can add anything to the final stages of the album or this is a chance for people that aren't musicians that if you want to come and join the tour meet some of the people on the tour Isaac's going to be around again Um, I'm sure we'll see Beth again if you want to see some familiar faces that you've seen get in touch come and spend an evening with us we'll go out get some food um, have some coffees make some music if you want to just sort of chill around the burst whilst we're finishing off the album you are more than welcome so please do come after the 22nd of July down in Brighton we're going to be between like Brighton and London so get in touch all right guys this is it thank you so much to vicky hunter little red robin and mass master master river to Ma- master, master Ra- Ra- thank you for leaving comments on last week's video super appreciate you guys let me know what you want to see in the last two months now of these videos make sure you hit that notification little bell button next to the subscribe and beth anything else you want to leave on thanks for having me you're very welcome (laughs) you're very welcome um i'm looking forward to seeing some of you guys back on the road next vlog you will see george k i can't believe i'm seeing him again tonight thank you guys for watching take care look after each other and remember never stop creating you know it